Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy Corey G at Small Arms Danny at Trey Speed in the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susak. We have the I Want Abs winner, ooh, Travis ooh, Coxworth, ooh. in the house. What's what up, guys? Welcome what up, welcome brother? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'm going to leave you hanging, homie. Woo! Listen, <laughs> so we've got, you know, just the bends behind us. Shout so, out. Shout all, out. All no, its glory. Yeah, and all its glory. And uh, Travis flew up from Georgia. I didn't give him the car right out the gate. We trained. We hung out. We did some content yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I got it in detail. I wiped it off again this morning. Took my time to get down, and we tried to prolong it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Making me sweat. Yeah. <laughs> How'd it feel to see it for the first time and oh. then to know you're taking it home, dude? It's crazy. Just seeing it in person, knowing all the hard work that I put in, and it's just jaw dropping. Talk about that because I think there's, oh well, we'll just say it, there's 1,700 people that signed up for this thing, bro. Yeah. Which I'm proud of. That's a lot of engagement. Yeah, a lot and of quality. And people a lot of quality too. people, yeah. and there was great results. Probably 400. Danny, Danny knows this because Danny helped with this process in Treadway. Like 400 really good transformations. Yeah, it was. It's hard, bro. Looking at half naked men and women on your computer screen for. Uh, Danny's got dongs months. all he over lo- his face. He, <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. Yeah. That's funny you went there because we talk about that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What made you choose the word dong? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out of anything. Yeah, yeah, usually just, a wang guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just want to get you excited. Yeah. You're usually a wang guy. Yeah, I, I knew know. you'd yeah. smile. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone's smiling. <laughs> Joe. Hey, what do you mean, yeah. dong? I'm wearing my chain today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot. It's inside. Yeah, um, that's what she said. Danny. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back on the back on the rails. <laughs> you know, way the fuck back on yeah. the fucking yeah. rails. Yeah. Um, all right. So when you started off this process, you obviously have been around the content and Max mm-hmm. Effort, Corey G for a while. You don't win last year. You go back to the drawing board this year. As soon as you saw the car and the prize and things were posting, was it like one of those things where you're like, did you lock in immediately on I'm driving this motherfucker home? At all? Like, did you right out the gate? Um, everyone thinks they think that, but it's like, did, did yours just feel different this time? I'm trying. You know what I'm trying to I get knew, to? I knew I could definitely place top ten again. Yeah. And then it's just don't know how everybody's gonna judge it when you're. Yeah. Weight loss, abs, biceps, testimonials, all that. But I told my text group that also joined. That was mm-hmm. big support system. I was like, I'm gonna win it. Yeah. Get it through my mind right there and now and you knew you could get your body to like a whole nother level oh, basically yeah, yeah. Notice i didn't know if i could was in there <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but just saying <laughs> continue <laughs> continue of course <laughs> i didn't know if i could hit that same weight loss number like 168 i felt was pretty low for me on yeah. the first year that i entered mm-hmm. and then once i before getting dehydrated and the water loss and all that i was already at 168 going into the final week yeah that's so i was like going, oh yeah. i definitely know i can get yeah lower lower so so you got those 63 uh 161 61 from 198 so yeah. 37 Holy pounds in fucking 12 field. weeks fucking well, and, and you weigh what now like 170 I'm 169 170 right so now nice fully and hydrated is, <laughs> and yeah and this is how many weeks i mean and this is like <laughs> what two months after yeah i mean this is so that's what's awesome is his walk around weight is a jacked yoked fucking 170 now oh, yeah. um after do, that's fucking great bro and you, i will say having the I still want abs contest on the calendar, having that date, keeping going forward was a huge thing Yeah, yeah. this year. Not having – like last year, kind of falling off, yeah, sticking yeah. to the diet, but not doing as many lunges. And that's a good that's good feedback yeah. for us too because yeah. that's what we're trying to figure out is we have a bunch of excitement at the beginning of the year. Then it's like what kind of comes right after that and then even this time of the year. Right. You know what I mean? Because we want to keep things on the calendar for the community, but it's difficult. I can't give a car away every fuck – you know, and it's nah. all and, – and if I dilute – this type of contest additionally in the year, then it's like you, you want to make sure everybody's building up for this. So that's a little bit of a challenge for us, for but sure. Small little contests or yeah. different things, you know, to keep it flowing and keep mm-hmm. everybody pushing for that next date. Talk about your experience of, and then I'll switch it to everybody for questions, but like getting here. You see, you've been watching the videos forever, bro. You've been right. watching this podcast. You've been seeing the gym videos. You've been seeing the fucking skits at Max. Mm-hmm. You've been seeing all of it. Yeah. Now you're inside of it. How the fuck does that feel? It honestly feels like I'm just having a – not an out-of-body experience, but it's like part of the group already. Like yeah. I pretty much know everybody when sitting down. No, That was one thing you know, he, I thought was cool. Son's daughter. He's like, I everything. think I already know everybody because <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. all the social media. It's like not everybody knows me, but, yeah, yeah coming yeah. to the gym, it's like, oh, okay, there's Don. Or, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I love that you Don. Yeah. Shout out Don. Yeah. Yeah. Don so, but professor. Just, That's a professor right there. Just seeing everybody <laughs> in person and getting to work with them, I mean, yeah. dream come true. <laughs> That's so yeah. good. Uh, yeah. I'll throw it to you, Danny. See, now you watched a lot of Dong. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk about your he's, Friday. He's analyzed. He's yeah. analyzed. T- talk about your Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, no, I'm just thinking about like from last year to this year. What was kind of like the main separator for you? Like, what kind of made you fucking like kick it up? Because you mentioned like you had a, you know, a text group and stuff like that. Yeah. How many people were in that text group, or w- what kind of moved the needle for Bro, you? Bro, first off, not only are you a great dong evaluator. The fact that you, you <laughs> he, he's yeah, the number one. He is the number one. G's he's credibility a great, going he's down. a great yeah. podcaster. That was a great question. Okay, please. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so, Don't Urban Dictionary <laughs> dong. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Last year, I only had one person that I knew join the contest. So the accountability chain wasn't that big. This year, I had in our text group, so four buddies and then me, so a group of five. I know we're not supposed to do no free shout-outs, but i got to shout them out. <laughs> Chris Rustin, Kyle Speck, Nick Rice, and Katie Ewald. Hell yeah. Some dogs right there. Yeah, yeah, some dogs. All They didn't do the lunges consistently all the time, but, you know, they were pumping them out and, yeah. you know, still changing their lives. Well, and one of your friends is the guy who got third place. Yep, so he was in – he wasn't in the text group, yeah. but DMing through Instagram and all that. But he's the uh, guy you know. Yeah, Matty Howell. Yeah, shout so out Matt. finished third and then having – all that group together losing 170 pounds, roughly, I think it was, between Damn. six Dude, people. That's sick. I mean, it's just I, draw I, dropping I and a testimonial to everybody. Huge. That's a great tip that next year we should be running this because people that are yeah. doing it should be drawing in Get a small squad. group. Yeah. 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 I like that. Like, did you facilitate that yourself? Like, did you recruit them and kind of just no. create it? I mean, we were, you know, a yeah. good group of friends beforehand, and then they just wanted to better themselves. So we just kind of changed the name of the text message group from okay. like a friend's group and it's just literally called max abs fuck yeah so <laughs> i love it and then name I mean, your squad yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean we're going through morning workouts making sure we did them different recipes sharing yeah. back and forth for anabolic fasting and just oh yeah yeah shoot well, the shit. i told him when we were driving around in the car that we're working on a thing for the site that has the interactives mm-hmm. and it can you know give notifications so people uh, kind of a mix between a private Facebook and a Twitter type of situation so there can be more yeah. more accountability and I think that would be a huge key because moving forward. y'all aren't on the app responding to questions you know 24-7 yeah, with yeah. somebody else and joining on there so it's good for other members to hit up for the sure. app and for kind sure, of spread yeah. the knowledge. Well nope. and to your point there's no notification so I don't even we no one even knows when things are being like, like taken back off. and forth yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean so that's like one of the challenges with start with the, the daily app. blog and then there's yeah. two comments then you go back and there's 30. Yeah and, exactly yeah. so that's what that's one thing we're going to change well, for sure. this kind of goes remember like we were hitting on like be what, what we say be the fucking unicorn of your be friend Be the unicorn group. of your friends yep. So, yeah, like, talk about the impact that you had because, you know, me, Danny, and Jake Holland, like, we all had, like, a nice, like, support system. And that made a huge fucking name. Is that the meat? Is that the meat pick? Call name. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Meat picks. Meat picks. But, hey, like, no, we were. leave that one alone. We were, like, us three, we were sending every, every, like, at noon and at five, we were sending our fucking meals talking about how we felt and stuff like that. And that made a huge difference. And it like it all held held up, helped us be like more accountable mm-hmm. and like more dialed in. So talk about the impact that had like with like your friends. Yeah, because it's tough like going out with friends and family that are not doing the protocol and stuff, and watching them eat a cheeseburger or pizza, and you're over there <laughs> yeah. just with the steak and veggies, which you know tastes pretty good, but it's it's not. Pizza, I want that. It's I want bread. that cheeseburger, yeah. you know. <laughs> but yeah, just enjoying it with them. And I'll tell you one thing that uh, Arnold said is like no cheeseburger tasted better than you sitting in the fucking driver's seat of that (laughs) yeah you know what i mean like that that's one thing you always like nothing tastes better than being a fucking champion and i was like oh okay arnold yeah yeah, Yeah. okay (laughs) thanks for that nugget bro (laughs) but that's the truth though because everyone's up against that i've walked in my fucking dude there's so many nights i walk in my pantry my kids love chips there's like nine different Mm. bags of chips i'm like god and then i walk back out and think is that going to give you one day closer, G? Or one day further away? And, no <laughs> and then I'm no. texting Danny right, and it was a shit show last night. <laughs> night. But, I mean, that is – everyone battles that. And even knowing me. it's a 12-week contest and you're yeah. going towards the end, it's like, is that final – you got 14 days left. It's like, yeah. I can make it 14 days Fuck, yeah. without a chip. Like, I mean – or even just the way that I set up the protocol in general, I think most people can make it five days until yeah. mm-hmm. they get something. Like, if you can't be disciplined enough to do something you're supposed to – for five fucking days, you should be questioning yourself a little bit. Get your shit in line. And I mean, then, it's and then when you're with that group too, having a cheat meal together. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's epic all too. Yeah. yeah, 
That's cool. So. Smiling just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, think, I'm thinking about upcoming yeah, Saturday for yeah. college football right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Planning it out. But I will say, because like, even on a mini cheat going into either Wednesday or Thursday, mm -hmm. back in the fall when you fall off, sometimes when I fell off, it was like, okay, I can have a beer on this day, but then that leads to some M&Ms on that night. Oh, and then you're yeah, like, oh, you're well, fucking... crap, the whole week's gone to waste. Might as well cheat on Friday now, too, cheat on Saturday, and then it just, you know, kind of spirals into itself. That, that and... spiral is the one thing I've tried to do some content on to try to <clears throat> make sure people don't do. Because yeah. if you stop it at the first fuck up, it really isn't all fucking blown, right? Not yeah. when you have a metabolic rate like you got going right. on, bro. So it's like, if you do have the beer on Tuesday, which you shouldn't be having, and you eat the M&Ms, don't think, well, the rest of the week's fucked. I got until next Monday. No, it's really not. Wednesday's your new Monday. Yeah, now, so like, exactly. Get back you on just the give train. me a couple more days, and I think like that right there, because I used to think that too. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck, I'm fucked. Yeah. Well, no, you're just fucking yourself more. <laughs> so now you're mentality. double fucked. <laughs> Danny, what was that fucking what, group chat what, name what, again? What did you name it? Meat Picks or something like uh, that? No, no, you named it. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking it. No, a you named it. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's talk about whenever you first started like the the contest. Usually, most people they'll get about two weeks in. They might not be seeing the the changes yet, and they're like, "Ah, oh, this ain't fucking working." Blah blah blah. What was that process like for you? Like, did you immediately feel? The, like the changes and see well, it and or? managing the other people because they might have saw yeah. that at least than you you know what I mean I will say the mirror test definitely comes later like yeah. you're not the abs are the last thing to pop through and everything uh, but everybody's numbers with the weights were dramatically increasing during those mm -hmm. first eight weeks probably or so but decreasing um, decre the weights increasing yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. lifts and I got stuff. you yeah, 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 yeah I got it and then um, yeah I think I think I dropped the first 10, 12, 15 pounds relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. And then it was just kind of maintenance on, you know, getting the bench and squat and deadlifts and stuff back up and ramping it. And then I wouldn't say for, like, the peak week and all that, just really dialing it in there mm -hmm. on the final even 12 pounds dropping on that. Oh, yeah. Or so. Well, do you th hear him talking about his lifts still, too. Yeah. That's what I fucking yeah, it's, love. It's and a couple the of the four guys. pillars between anabolic fasting, yeah. lunges, lifting. and Fucking student. Fuck yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it. yeah. No, it's for sure. So, yeah, you can't <laughs> slack off on just one of them. No. You got to go all in on Because you can have it all if you mm -hmm. go in all yeah. in on everything. Yeah. I don't know why people don't get that. I swear I'm fucking like a broken fucking record at this point in my life. It's at the top Do of the Do I have to anabolic <laughs> fast the whole time? Or yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you're still doing that thing. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Still, well, I know still the, got a lunge? I, I remember there was a, in the early in the contest, there was a lot of people getting tripped up that they were like lifting. They were lifting harder than they were before. They were training yeah. harder. And the scale kept fucking going up. Or it was staying the same because they were getting more jacked. And they're like, mm. Do I need like my number's not going down. I didn't look at the fucking scale once. I wouldn't be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be discouraged yeah. on it. Like that, you just gotta know that it's a whole twelve week process. Yeah, well, you know, don't worry about the numbers. Yeah, the first four weeks, your body's going, huh? Yeah. Well, and to Cole's point, a lot of people don't really train volume. No, their body doesn't even know no. what to fucking do. A lot of guys will add muscle or gals relatively quick, and same with lunge volume. Their legs get fucking yoked one, one up. Million percent. I was gonna say the yeah. leg. That's probably what it is. Well, and your body holds a lot more water when you when you train that way a little bit. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> at the end of the day, depending on what you were eating previously, if you go to anabolic fasting, you're probably you're gonna 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 drop weight. Yeah. Right yeah. Off the, but, yeah. but I agree, there is some people that are like that. But you understanding that, hey, I'm in this thing for 12 weeks, you know. But there, it goes back and forth because you know if you don't see a little bit of something in the first couple of weeks, which most people do. But there is that small percentage that has that it, it struggles for their metabolic rate to get rolling. Right. Then once it gets rolling, it's fucking it's moving. So, what about like uh, like a down day or did, where did you struggle? Like whether like was that you know week eight or something like that, or was there like a particular part of the process that made you struggle? Uh, there were certain times like getting out of bed, dealing with either uh, the sciatica or SI joint area. It was like don't really want to do this squat on this day or it would sometimes hurt just squatting 95 pounds yeah and it was like just trying to work through that knowing i still had to put the work in in the gym doing mm -hmm. the rope cable crunches ab wheels all that no matter what fighting through usually once middle of the day it definitely got warmed up and mm -hmm. was able to function a lot uh never had any issues lunging yeah with the, the side <laughs> hip or anything that's good um usually that comes with the si shit yeah and then uh 
doing all the lunges on the track, no issues for the most part on that, a couple times. Having to wait till after school with the school resource officer coming down or getting <laughs> track, track locked in uh, or whatever track being locked and have to go to a different track and try to get on yeah. and all that. So that was a struggle on that. Mm -hmm. I would say the toughest would be just staying consistent with the anabolic fasting, like mm -hmm. just seeing people – like you know, you want to eat it, but you can't, and then it's waiting for a cheat meal. fucking rules, yeah. bro. Yeah, but it's it's tempting, you know. Of so you, it you is. had some it. funny posts, like uh, like a, you know, like a baseball game or something oh, like that, yeah, right? Yeah, when you're taking yeah. shit. To so the that ballpark. was yeah. that was right before peak week, right? So oh, uh, <laughs> perfect. Probably f 10, 12 days out, and a couple of buddies in the group, they had already submitted their photos. They yeah. counted out the. Uh, the day so they would know they'd be at yeah. opening day with a hot dog and beer and all that good they stuff. They were probably fucking pumped. Yeah. And, and I was like, you're there with no hot dog so and beer. So I, I waited till so I, cause I went to the national championship game for UGA. So That's that cool. was January 11th. And I think I started the contest around, 16th or the 20th, somewhere mm -hmm. around there in January. That proves my point that that's why it yep. being a little later is yeah, good. Yeah. So the previous year I did first day, January 1st. And I was yeah. like, okay, I got a little bit window there to mm -hmm. enter and everything. So I wanted to turn, have my turn-in date before my birthday in April to kind of just have a week of bad food, beer, you name it, and all that stuff. Sure. So went to the Braves game. <laughs> You're allowed to bring food in, which not all baseball stadiums allow yeah, you to do yeah, that. Yeah, so you can, cool. if you can fit it in a gallon bag, you can bring it in type of thing. Okay. So I had pork chops, Brussels sprouts and carrots, <laughs> an avocado. This motherfucker. I, and then, like, security's checking the bag, and they just started laughing. I was like, I'm too close to the finish line to, you know, be ruined now. I'm not just going to yeah, have yeah. buy a $30 hamburger and just eat the meat. So Absolutely. I was like. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, but you didn't go, like, all right, I'm going to take, like, some cold hamburgers and, like, some. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're, like, you're, like, Gourmet. taking fucking pork yeah. chops oh, and there fucking was, Brussels yeah. sprouts. There well, was, like, how the fuck do you get this in there? I'm yeah. like, you smuggle this shit? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. There, was, there was people walking down the aisle. Like, what concession stand did you get that from? I was like, no, man, I brought it. He's like, it looks really good. I was like, it is good. That's yeah. fucking hilarious. And then uh, also bringing in, because, you know, games are about 7, 7.30, mm -hmm. so I'm eating it pregame. But then the carb spike window at 9.30, 10 or whatever, you're still at the baseball game. So I bought, like, four or six bananas into the baseball oh, game. Yeah. It's yeah. Little, cups, little cups of peanut butter, and I'm just scooping it up. That's and amazing. It's so good. <laughs> Say it can't be done. Yeah. 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 Oh, so it can always be done. People make excuses now. You can find yeah. a way to. That's why I showed some of the videos of me just having, like, the hamburger in the fucking, like, in the plastic bags yeah. and shit. Like, because it, it's so basic. Yeah. I mean, that's funny that you yeah. just get the that. protein. Even last night, just walking to the gas station to get four bananas and bring it back to the hotel room last <laughs> night. Speedway and banana it, carbs. Yeah. Yeah. Spike. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Speedway. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh from the source. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Well, that kind of goes off like the no matter what mentality. I know you mentioned that like uh, you were traveling a lot, so you were doing like lunges in all kinds of random fucking places, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, and pulling was, up Google Maps trying to see which high school is the closest and if I can get on that track and yeah. knock them out. And, and then you, there, there was days at the fucking – what is it? Uh, Mercedes Benz. Mercedes yeah, Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, last Saturday. So, <laughs> yeah, that's on sick. the turf in wow. front of the cheerleaders. Players weren't out there yet. Tell them the, the story. <laughs> tell them the story. All right. So, got approved to do the uh, lunges on the field. Did 350 for my first lap, quote unquote, because it takes about 330, 340 lunges to mm -hmm. do a lap. And I was like, all right, 350, swig of water, knocked out 350, popped the shirt off when the cheerleaders oh, were yeah. running out when I finished and all that. Oh, yeah. And Sign then, uh, <laughs> were you getting some looks? Get some looks, yeah. Had go. a couple of them say, because a couple of them follow me and, you know, oh. have seen the posts on the lunges and everything. Yeah. And they're like, okay, I didn't know you were doing one on a game day, too. I was like, yeah, no matter what, yeah, every day. Let's go. And I didn't want to do them at 9 p.m. <laughs> later day, that honey. night. Yeah. yeah. So an assistant coach from the Falcons, I guess, was in the press box, radioed down to the head of security and was like, what's that player doing down there with the shirt off? He, he ought to know better to be on the sideline with no shirt. And the security That's guy's like, well, it's not a player. That's epic. So I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. So I don't know. I looked like the backup punter or kicker <laughs> yeah. or whatnot, but yeah. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> Punter's fucking shredded. Yeah. <laughs> so it was the uh, first and last time I think that I get to do the lunges on the field. Yeah, but all so the, all the it, it made it, it made it worth it. up now. Yeah. It's fucking great. It was awesome. Cheerleaders flexing, winning cars. Yeah. Yeah, doing doing some traveling through a, out the state. You have to find some like the hotel gym. So flipping back and forth between get stacked and uh, dumbbell shred. And, mm. Seeing what kind of like modifications. Carrying, yeah, were you carrying dumbbells with you? No. But usually the hotels, you know, no, have up to 40 to 50, yeah. something like that. A couple of the gyms across the state will have uh, cable crossovers and different things. And always brought my ab wheel. 
Yeah, you know, of course. Knock those out in the hotel room, maybe a band or two. Well, yeah, I mean, everyone knows you're fucking yoked now. The, the <laughs> high school kids were like, all right, this dude's fucking yoked. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, you want a car? And the guys in the morning were like, that dude's pretty uh, – Jay Collins was like, this dude's pretty fucking yoked. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome, Try to bro. get after it best I can. No, it's yeah. cool. Uh, Trayvon, to you. You've been quiet over there. What you got? Um, I'm curious, like, what like the what was your uh like your one motivation? Like, if there's like a video or a book or something like that, like, what did you keep going back to, like, to feel you? So that was one of the big goals for this year's contest. Like, I'm a terrible reader, and I wanted to expand my mind more and learn different things. So I tried to go back from like self help to uh, fiction as well. Mm-hmm. So you know, back and forth, and I just set a, a book a month, and I was like, it seems. Super That's easy, reasonable. right? Seems yeah. super easy. And I thought it was like so easy to turn on Netflix and, you know, <laughs> watch Netflix, not read and all that. So mm-hmm. I made it like a commitment. And uh, reading, well, I read your book, mm-hmm. obviously. Appreciate that. How to win. Shout out. Confidence. Yeah. Everything. How to build confidence. Yeah. How to be, yeah. How to not be a smart. couple of them in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, reading David Goggins' book, yeah, so Can't sick. Hurt Me, was pretty awesome. Because I've read uh, did Living read with the Seal. you listen to him? I read. So yeah. this is all physical books. I'll read. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to fucking read. Uh, yeah. I got yeah. it. And still listen to the podcasts and stuff, yeah. but it was just knowing that your mentality can take you way past your body. Oh, yeah. You know, the pain and everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I finished that book right before running a 10K. Cool. And still doing the lunges every day, but I didn't really train for the 10K at all. And just having that, like, boat crew two and 40 mm-hmm. percent yeah i was yeah, like yeah. it just like that drove how'd home, you handle drove it home. how'd you handle it the 10k so when i woke up i wasn't feeling good yeah. that morning so woke up four o'clock five o'clock somewhere around there race starts right at seven mm-hmm. and 45 minute drive got to get on the uh train transportation to get to the start line because everything's closed mm-hmm. took a couple of little ibuprofen just to try to yeah. Numb the hip a little we bit. Do, we do that shit yeah. before the meets, too. Because <laughs> I literally only ran a total of four miles in April and then didn't run leading up to July 4th. And that's, what, six miles? Yeah, 6.2. Yeah. Yeah. Largest 10K in the world. There's 60,000 participants in it. Holy shit. Yeah, and it's the women's 10K world championship. So there's people flying in from Africa, all over the country, world, wow. to run in this thing. And ended up running at 5139 mm-hmm. and for one of the so it was my 20th year running the race one thing that I do okay. every single year type of thing kind of big July 4th yeah mm-hmm. that's cool you know and I think it was the second but or you th- didn't train for it no, this time no <laughs> that's funny second or third time that I ran the whole race like no walking whatsoever yeah. and I had a huge blister on the left side of my foot <laughs> but I noticed cuz there's a about mile 3 3 to 4 place called cardiac hill that's mm-hmm. what they call it and it's huge incline right by the shepherd center which is uh spinal recovery for mm-hmm. patients and all that and they've got them out there sitting oh, watching wow. motivating say my legs don't work why are you walking different signs <laughs> like that for motivation Damn. but it was the best i've ever felt running that incline up the hill and yeah. i think it's definitely from the lunges and oh, the yeah. leg strength from that well yeah you ain't doing anything else no <laughs> <laughs> so but it's yeah it be. was it That's was sick. definitely a tough recovery the next few days and oh, then yeah. going straight from the 10k to the track to lunge within hour and a half just Ooh. knowing you want the rest of the day to be at the lake or whatever that's brutal and the first the first le- well it didn't kick in exactly so those lunges <laughs> were Semi the okay. next day. Uh, the next week. It was <laughs> tough. I was like, just try to get down there, hit that knee to the track, and get yeah. on to the next one. I mean, the time shot up by four or five minutes per lap just because of the lactic acid and oh. the muscles being not used to that. I know the ones on meat day or the next couple of days after meat are always fucking tough, but yeah. it's not an endurance thing. But right. they're just I'm just a rickety mess from lifting so fucking heavy. But yeah. those are always pretty challenging for sure. Damn so specifically with lunges, I mean, you've alluded to it a little bit, but what is your, like, favorite thing about them? Yeah, like, and what's the distance you stayed to, too, for the people that don't really know what's up? So uh, so I did a streak back in 2018, so it wasn't my first rodeo jumping into the lunges. I kind of mm-hmm. knew what to expect, but leading into the contest, I hadn't done them in seven, eight months probably, mm-hmm. roughly. And uh, started out with first week, 400 meters. Get them still can't even sit on the everything. toilet if you've been ain't done it for seven yeah, or eight months. Yeah, they're tough. <laughs> they, quad pumps huge yeah. on that, and then that following Sunday, day eight, eight hundred meters there on out, two hundred and fourteen days straight, I think, since then. Mm. And 
they were all around 10 to 14 minutes probably that first month or so but then once you crack that first you know see that nine and those single digits it's just to me kind of the times just keep rolling off rolling off mm -hmm. yeah. um i don't do them bright early in the morning so usually there's people at the track when i'm doing mm -hmm. and just seeing their reactions and their faces is it gets me it's yeah. yeah it's just like <laughs> Making sure I'm going hard, like, oh, I'm walking a mile, running a mile. This guy's over here doing half mile of lunges. This asshole. And just yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're literally <laughs> kicking their ass. But I've done it a couple times where people have kind of been doing lunges on the track and all that, and that's a huge motivation. Yeah. Going up to Nashville, meeting a guy on the app that recommended a track and well, discussing cool. lunges. Sick. And yeah, cool. He had that's the dope. max effort shaker bottle getting out of the Hell car, yeah. and I was like – They're like comparing quads. I was like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I got to talk cool. to you. I was like, I'm not going to, like, let you go to your car and, like, you know. Trey and Danny have a friend at the Grandview track. They love him. He really lights Trey up. Yeah. Shout, out, <laughs> shout out that guy. Yo, Kyle, give me spear fingers. We got to take a break. All right, we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back. The Roundtable Podcast is brought to you by Max from Muscle. With us is the Director of Sports Performance, Tyler Treway. Mr. Treway. Thanks, Cole. So, Cole, the other day I had a strength coach call me. You know what he said? What did he say? He said, Treadway, <laughs> my players, they need something. They need a product that's safe. They're not going to fail a drug test for steroids. It's going to get them results. And you know what I said? What would you tell him? I told him, Coach, we have two products that are NSF certified. Our Triplin Protein, S'mores flavor, and our Amino Recovery Lemonade flavor. They're both going to get your guys' results. Everything that we say is in this label is in the label. Uh, How yes. Know? How do they know that? The because sticker? this sticker right here is the NSF seal of approval that our products are safe, for your athletes, whether you're high school, college, professional, doesn't matter. We got you covered here at Max Effort Muscle. Well, uh, where can they reach you? <laughs> at uh, Treadway at Max <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mr. Treadway. Back to the show. And we're back to the show. Tyler Treadway's really getting good at this. He's really getting, he's, he must be getting a lot of phone calls. <laughs> yes. He's always got people hitting him up. I think he was a little nervous because I impersonated him so well. Oh, yeah. He wasn't sure, like, where yeah. he was going with it. <laughs> he was shaking. No, he did good. Um, <laughs> super proud of that guy. Proud of Danny, too. It's a great yeah. beard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Travis, back on the rails. All right, so you have one of the most unique professions I think I've ever heard of. How to do. I did not know this even exists. And I think it'd be cool for you to kind of explain how you got into it, kind of some of the things you get to do. But my man is a professional mascot. Yeah. Which is fucking awesome. Cool and, stuff. like, cool as fuck, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, and, and let, I know you have, like, a group of people that you obviously work in a company that does this, but, like, I have never met anyone that has done that for their living. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Didn't, wild. Didn't do it in high school or college. A lot of yeah. the top performers kind of, you know, do that. There's on the, the word, way up. performer. Yeah. I like it. So uh, went to Georgia Southern for sport management. Okay. Graduated in 2012 and got an internship with the Gwinnett Braves, which was the AAA team for the Atlanta Braves. And uh, marketing promotions just kind of got thrown into the backup role when the like regular you're the, mascot you're the guy. sub guy yeah you, you, like guy going out to a community <laughs> event it's like okay which intern can we throw in there today to you know That's pass hilarious. the test you know not pass out on us hopefully and uh, then things hot know, as deal fuck. with some kids yeah all, <laughs> all of them are hot yeah. in georgia. actually there's <laughs> yeah in georgia yeah. And, so, and uh so that guy ended up leaving at the end of the season he was kind of like uh doing news radio <laughs> content filming Got and it. stuff and all that so I was like, oh, it's a full-time job out of college, and they paying me to dance and just run around. I was like, well, why the heck not? Yeah. You know, so they actually sent me to a, another thing you've probably never heard of, a mascot boot camp. Oh. Shut <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we haven't done yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Since I hadn't, uh, hadn't had too much previous experience this and all that. So they flew me up to uh, Pennsylvania. The original Philly Fanatic hosts yeah. a like a three day boot camp type thing, learning on like. It's like, like you're going to tight end you, yeah. bro. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Cool. So I mean, you get there, got your costume, dance studio, mirrors, and all that. First thing, you're not in your costume. You got to do all these emotions and different walks, looking at yourself, and like usually most people are more comfortable in the suit. Yeah. So yeah. seeing yourself oh, yeah, and I'm act sure. out, you know, 
how to do an army crawl or some hip hop yeah. dance going across and how to react and do big motions yeah, and yeah. then build up from there with just the head on or the full body suit and all that. So yes. one of the books I read on this journey for the 12 weeks was by the New York Mets mascot. Mm-hmm. He wrote a book called Yes, It's Hot in Here because everybody <laughs> just <laughs> asks, you know, even when you're in suit, hey, is it hot in there? It's like you Fuck get tired yeah. of hearing it over and over and <laughs> that's over. That's hilarious that that's yeah. like one of the most asked questions. <laughs> yeah. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> that's like, so well, good. I got 30 pounds of fur on me and it's <laughs> yeah. 80 something degrees out here. Wow. Yeah. So I worked with uh, the Gwinnett Braves for six seasons mm-hmm. and then uh, – Indoor lacrosse team moved down from Minnesota halfway through that. Kind of the same thing on, hey, we need somebody for our press conference. Mm-hmm. You mind filling in? I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then that's like your role. Like yeah. Fill it in, then yeah. you stay. And then it's <laughs> like, oh well, you did a really good job. Do you want to do it full time? I was like, yeah, we can. The seasons don't overlap, so why not? And then, Sick. Uh, so did that. Been doing that since 2015, I think. Won a world championship, got a big ring, and oh, that's all cool. that. And, then uh, 2018, got the opportunity to join on with a company called Atlanta Mascot Productions, mm-hmm. where different corporations and sport teams contract through them, mm-hmm. and that became like just too much to run. The two main mascots that I was doing and them, so ended up leaving the baseball team on that, mm-hmm. and then just rocking and rolling ever since. Can you say who the some of the sports teams are you work with in that organization, or are you not uh, allowed to? Help? Not exactly sure if I'm allowed to okay. on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's but all right. You know, some. You can narrow it down a yeah, little yeah. bit on the football. But Where do you live at again? Um, Outside of Atlanta? Yeah. Well, yeah. What kind of animal? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the season's about. The, <laughs> the, 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 Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Is that what they that do? Pretty, no. I don't know. I tried. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, season, season's about to start, too, so if that helps. Yeah, you yeah. Know. And then, Jeez. like, uh, we got. A couple car wash mascots, Coke Polar Bear, uh, 811 Call Before You Dig. So, like, 120 school shows Dude. with them throughout the year. Wow. Dude, the Coke Polar Bear, that'd be a fucking amazing. Yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of Christmas events, uh, fall festivals with that, uh, Walmart re-grand openings and stuff. But mm. that one is by far the hottest. hottest. The worst. <laughs> you can't put it on yourself. So, it's one solid piece of fur oh and then God. a head that has eight U-hooks that somebody has to snap you in. Jeez. And then you're going hour, hour and a half. Sweating and your balls it's, off. It's yep. just dripping down. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's also another, like, part of the workout, too, that's not counted towards the workout. Yeah, you're doing everything. a sauna so, for your job, yeah. Yeah. dude. Yeah. Running around, <laughs> squatting like up and down, <laughs> high-fiving kids. And yeah. Do you have, like, a sign, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to die, like, or something? Uh, yeah. like, you're, like, a safe hey, word? Yo, get the shit <laughs> off me. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we've got we've – got, <laughs> What's the safe word? With the crew, we got different hand signals, you know. Like, He's growling. I, I need a, <laughs> I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> is he playing dead? Or yeah. like, does, he, does he need some medical What's help? That? What's so that growling? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. But Dude, yeah, the boot camp is like that. Yeah, blows well, I was going to say, like, how many people go to this each yeah. year? And is it, like, also, like, a reunion where, like, everyone, <laughs> like, like all like all the main guys be. are like, I'm going to go back here and, like, just hang out? Or, like, what, what is I'd that like? I'd say it's for uh, more beginners. Gotcha. Uh, there's different ones. I think there's one in Texas that a uh, different performer puts on. And stuff, but there's probably is three there like different five ones. people at this thing or like thirty uh, people? There like was twelve to fifteen at the okay. one that I attended. A mm-hmm. uh, couple high schools, couple D three colleges. That's cool. A uh, couple minor. So we had two minor league mascots, and but I've seen different pros one yeah. there too, and just brainstorming on different skits yeah. to do or different situations. I Try to think think outside the box, and then mm. uh, hadn't done any reunion stuff or anything gotcha. like that. But working in different like parts of the city and everything we all the whole atlanta crew knows each other That's work cool. together at numerous events and stuff so we kind of you it's know fun. feed off each other's energy <laughs> and we got some crazy ones down there that so, can do a lot of different stuff yeah so That's in cool. this industry like i guess who's like the top five mascots like people are like yeah, looking at yeah. Them, like, those who's are the, the goats guys yeah right there okay so. So me watching YouTube videos, Benny the Bull, Chicago Bulls, yeah. Fuck yeah. he gets He's after it on the pretty well. The Phoenix Sun good ape? Yeah, the uh, Sun's gotta Gorilla. Be. Or the Sun's Gorilla, yep. got to be up He's there. He's crazy. Uh, the trampoline dunks, ladder dunks. Uh, Orlando Magic guy, he's really good. Okay. Yeah. He jumped off a 30-something foot ladder into a big basketball hoop. What? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I think yeah. I remember that. Uh, huge respect to like any baseball mascot because they're out there nine innings, yeah, it's sweating. Long. You don't, yeah. yeah, you never know. The how minor long league the game. baseball mascots are so important to the team too. Yeah. I mean, it really is. And I'm sure you saw that by being in the minors yeah. like that. Yeah. And I had a buddy that just did the 
World Track Championships, I think, out in Oregon, and okay. they debuted a mascot called Legend, which was a Bigfoot. Okay. And he was just all over the place. That's like, cool. With the athletes, you know, doing stuff right when they finished and all that. Uh, Sydney McLaughlin, when she set the world record, yeah. he had a sign ready. Because I was like, hey, dude, I'm watching for you just to try to catch them on the yeah. sideline and everything. I was like, I'm mainly watching for Sydney yeah. to, uh, you know, break the world record. He's like, I don't know what that is. Like, who is that? I was like, she's going to set a world record tomorrow, so you better have something ready. Yeah. But, yeah, it was 400 hurdle. Yeah, 400 hurdles, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That's Insane. sick. But, yeah. Uh, What's, like, one of the craziest things that's happened to you? There you go. I got to perform with Ludacris in what? our uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Luda. All right. Luda. Shout, shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, know yeah. we know you're listening. Yeah. 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 What up, Luda? The pod. So uh, <laughs> during our world championship run for lacrosse, we were having different uh, performers come in yeah. during halftime and everything. So we got him for the championship game. And I didn't know that I was going into the game. I didn't know I was going to perform. Dude, like so on the. <laughs> So he passed me in the hallway when he was coming down. He's like, uh, mascot's name Stinger. He's like, Stinger, you coming out there with me? I was like, yeah, Fuck let's yeah. do it. 10,000 <laughs> yeah. people arena, just me, him, and his two backup singers on the floor for yeah. 10 minutes just running <laughs> just around. Just me and fucking Luda. Just five so, <laughs> and a great like, question. And some, of, some of the people oh. like in our front office like, who's in Stinger right now? That guy's like really getting after him. Is that the normal guy? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what song do you remember? Do you remember anything like that? Uh, Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing some of these dance moves out here. But, you know. He's over here in the corner. He's <laughs> going yeah. good. Yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> because it, indoor lacrosse is uh, turf on top of the hockey rink. So yeah. you're, they play off the board. So I was able to like jump up on the glass oh, and just like yeah. hype the Dude, crowd up and get amazing. after it. So that was like, a top moment. Dude, that's so, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever he was like, "Hey, you coming out with me?" Did Did you say it to him, or did no, you I was like, like I, I had. I was like, "Oh yeah, I got this." Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right. Uh, You gotta keep it. Gotta keep it silent. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was picturing that. That was funny. Like, yeah, I didn't break character. That's the main thing. Dude, that's so. Yeah. So awesome. what is Stinger? It's a lacrosse dude. Not oh, the okay. best. Not the best. So it's costume. like a hornet yeah. or something. Uh, you know, I was gonna say no. no who's, it looks like Owen Wilson. Who has like the, <laughs> <laughs> who has like the ugliest mascot? That might be seen? that one, <laughs> dude. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so that's who was dancing with Ludacris. Yeah. <laughs> so the vision's terrible oh, yeah. in that one. Doesn't have a head, chin strap, or anything. Uh, 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 Trey, for the listeners at home, can you describe what that is? <laughs> For the mascot randalizing. <laughs> I mean, you said Vision Owen Wilson, so I was I mean, like, good. A <laughs> like, a, like a cartoon Owen Wilson that looks like he has maybe been homeless and cracked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just that's there. That's amazing. Like, lacrosse, bro, just Lacro- ready. That's wow. so cool. awesome. Uh-huh. Well, I, I think it's really cool to like expose our listenership to an entirely different industry. I didn't know. Only at the Round Table Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I made a joke about the furries. Obviously, there's nothing none <laughs> no, of that happening. Yeah. To be clear, yeah. that's all. Just a bit. He's like, please no, don't yeah. say. No, no trap doors yeah. happening. Yeah. They, they, pay yeah. me, they pay me to put it on. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> process that off a little. I just, I just want to say that I'll never forget when we were in Ruth Chris downtown. Yes. And I saw them and I was like. Furries and you just freaked out. You like pulled out your phone. <laughs> yeah, oh, so bad. All right, quick, quick furry story. I was. Why, why don't you tell people who what it is first? It's a just group Google of it. people. Just, yeah, just Google it. Yeah. That yes, that dress up in mascot costumes, not the actual like professional kind, but and then they get together and I think they have orgies. I'm pretty sure, and they even from what I was told. For my first furry experience, okay. I stayed in a hotel. Your first furry yes. experience. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about it, Danny. How many you had? So, just two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 my first one was I was in fucking Pittsburgh for something with uh, Mannion over at the NPC. And we're staying at the Onyx Hotel. It was like this really old school hotel. I walked down into the fucking, like, into the lobby. And it was like five mascots standing down there. And I'm like. Horses and unicorns. And oh, all kinds of like, shit. Got- I'm like the fuck is going on so i asked the front desk like why are all these people fucking dressed up it's like a tuesday in the middle of the day like well there's a furry convention what the fuck Jeez, is man. that and they're like and they even uh the the kitties they even go to the bathroom in a litter box no I said, uh, shut uh, the fuck up <laughs> dead serious so I'm like, this shit is weird, right? So I'm watching, and it's like, and then I'm just like kind of hanging out in the lobby, and there's a gob of these motherfuckers. So anyway, 
then there's like a five year, seven year kind of break. And then me and Trey are downtown of Ruth Chris and we see someone walking down the street, which is why I was like, take out my phone and took some pictures. <laughs> so that's my two experiences. Go get a selfie with them and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So just to clear up, no, that's not, not what Travis not, is doing. Not a furry. <laughs> not a furry. <laughs> so no. don't be, D hey, furries, get out of his DMs. Maybe a mas <laughs> mascot only fans or something. Yeah, hey, there you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Show off the abs Jeez. and just have some great content. Cole. I would love to see, you know, a one-on-one -on -one breakout interview with Small Arms Danny interviewing someone who is, is a furry who participates. Yes. Yeah. I, I need to be I feel like, like that'd 10 be feet away. <laughs> yeah. A little boom time. pole. Going <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe we're being racist versus the furries, and we need to be careful <laughs> about that. Yeah. I, I bet they're great people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we never said that they weren't. We yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We just said we didn't understand. Yeah. Yeah, we're uneducated. Yeah. We need someone to come. Yeah, so shout out. Cole, what kind of furry would you be? <laughs> what's your, what's your, what's your well, magic I mean, there's, there's, there's so many options. I, I, th I think I'd have to do more research. I, I don't know. Bulldog. I don't know. That's like too sportsish. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you want yeah. like a like a minotaur? You need you more feminine. Oh, <laughs> <that'd be laughs> happen, happen. maybe like a, yeah, may, maybe like a dragon or something. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, All maybe. Right. All right, cool. All right, Let's back see. on the rails. Where are we go from here, Danny? I, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just sure. picturing Cole like like crawling around like a dog now. All right, here. All right, here. <laughs> I got some right, weird I'll, shit. I'll bring it back. All right, so good. Bring it back, Cole. What's something you would tell someone who maybe started out the contest, they got halfway through, they're like, fuck, I just can't do this anymore. They missed the I Still Want Abs contest. What's your words for them and someone who watched this entire year, saw fucking the Ben, saw the Rolex, saw the crypto, and is like, I need to do this? You just got to flip the switch mentally. Get after it. How do they Don't do ever that, get Travis? Just, just know that there's a bigger goal in itself. You just got to have that mentality to – that dog in you almost just to go after it. You were an athlete too. So I think maybe sometimes like you got to tap back into the old athlete. Yeah. Idea, right. Yeah. Some people were removed from that for a while yeah. and they, and they kind of forgot like what it felt like on game day mm -hmm. or preparation at camp. And, and just that's really what it yourself, is. Yeah. Having that, having that drive, mm -hmm. knowing you can get 1% better each day and all that. And well, give like, it, giving up was never an option anytime yeah. during that 12 weeks or even the still want abs contest mm -hmm. afterwards. Cause yeah. I didn't know where I'd finish, so I was like, after <clears throat> three weeks or whatever, and that was a great thing, having that on there. I was like, oh, we're going after that, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I'll win the bins, but, hell, we might win the I Still Want Apps contest, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. So, but, yeah, just nut up and fucking do it. Do it, yeah. So how is that, like, carried over into, like, other areas of your life? Because, like, you know, you did more personal development. You said you were struggling with that, so you committed to reading more. Like, yeah. you – Right. I love the breath work, trying to figure that oh, one yeah. out. I bought a uh, horse water trough, trying to do the ice mm -hmm. bath and stuff. I don't have a sauna, per se. I guess being in the mascot's pretty much like a sauna, yeah. but I haven't done Well, we got the one right there yeah. you get to use tomorrow. Hell yeah. Dustin's going to lead him through it. So I was trying to figure out how I can do, like, sauna stuff without having a sauna and everything. Just get in the polar bear and stand outside. Yeah, and then jump <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. As ever, you got to unstrap yourself. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, throw it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> get in get in the ice bath with the polar bear. Yeah, on. there you go. Yeah. But yeah, trying to do more recovery and stuff like that, learning from that. Mm -hmm. And uh I haven't I've done it probably four or five times so far during the summer getting the ice bath because yeah. it does get a little expensive with I, the ice and one person you so I got a quick question. Before. Um this is usually what happens <clears throat> when people get really disciplined. You got some people that really fuck with you, and then some people that just won't fuck with you at all mm -hmm. because it's almost too much. Right. Did you experience that? I know you had your group of people you helped, but it's like whether it's family, friends, people at work, almost like that dude's weirdly disciplined now. Like we just ain't cool no more. Did you? Or did you uh, not really everybody was like everybody was pretty supportive, very supportive. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, help a guy <laughs> doing awnings and stuff when mm -hmm. we're not mascot and you know some side work and everything, and uh, drove about an hour and a half to do an awning. And I was like, hey, I haven't got my lunges in yet. Let me knock them out before driving all the way back. So I started knocking them out. He got out of his truck, started filming me. Yeah, that's awesome. He's like, and cheering me on. I was like, okay, that's, that's awesome. Cool. So he's like, yeah, if you're going to help me out, I'm definitely going to help you out, support you, motivate you. Um, people that's don't awesome. get – so we've had like a couple mascot meetings and stuff, getting ready for the upcoming season. Mm. And I was like, my anabolic fasting window is like five or six. I need to eat then. They're like, well, we're not eating until seven. I was like, well, guess I'm not eating then. During that time, <laughs> yeah, go to Publix and get some <clears throat> burger and everything, eat it on the way there. And then I knew before coming up here, we were at 
Michael Turner's bar mm -hmm. down in Atlanta for the preseason game, and everybody's drinking beer, having shots. I was like, no, nope, can't do it. Too yeah. close to coming up here, getting the bins, knowing yeah. I'm going to have the shirt off half the time yeah, and everything. Yeah. You so knew you were like, being the, you're going to be So that was, that was another thing. It was like, okay, well, it's a Monday, and what's a couple more days of, and they're like, you know, ragging me on, trying to get, and I was like, no. Nope. Honestly, that whole mentality of what's a couple more days probably could work for anybody any week yeah. of the year because mm -hmm. it's like a couple more days eventually than it is Friday. Yeah. That's what that's why I think it, break it down into compartments on. Yeah, small wins. Cole talks about it all the time. I mean, just make it to the next day. Cuz I always feel like if you can make it through the nighttime, that's usually like the struggle for most people mm -hmm. and get to the next day, then it gives you another chance to build a little bit more momentum. So it's like compartmentalizing those real small wins like that yeah. is really key. Yeah, don't look forward to like the end of the month. Like, oh, I don't know if I can lunge until that, or yeah. I don't know if I can stay on this diet that long. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, worry about today. Yeah, worry about today. You just make it a lifestyle too. Yeah. That's the other thing. And like yeah. people keep asking me like, you still doing that anabolic fasting? I'm like, I just do that. It's not a diet. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's what I eat. The yeah, way I've, I, had, I've had people <laughs> like, are you still dieting? I was like, well, I'm eating what I should be eating yeah. you know, normally. It's like, yeah, I'm still in the windows and all that. Yeah. Maybe on occasion I'll have to fast all the way through lunch to dinner depending on a schedule yeah. and everything. I will say, back to Trey, being in the mascot suit and sweating your tail off, trying to figure out, do I need more carbs that day? Or do mm -hmm. I need to add a sweet potato? Because I do deal with like forearm cramps and I'm calf sure. cramps running around, signing autographs and all that, and trying to find that happy medium. Yeah, Like knowing you want to give max effort on your lifts in the morning sure but then you've got a three-hour appearance somewhere later that day and you still need to be able to basically function. a fucking celebrity for his job pretty much secret, I mean, secret celebrity yeah too, yeah, yeah. You know? it's like, that's the fun about it too you know oh. nobody knows who you are they're guessing it's things fucking out of guys sweet. out of girls <laughs> white black you know old young just like, like you have fun shredded. with it. Yeah. Oh, he can do the gritty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know? Do, can you dab? Can you floss? It's like, oh gosh. Yeah. That's and amazing. And the, the jerks actually back too. The you jerk. know, doing the jerks. So I did that uh, down at Morehouse, and like everybody lost it. That's for an event. So. I was like, you do the yeah. Dougie. A little bit. Dougie. Yeah. Um, talk about uh, training this morning. First time. You know. Well, first off the first experience in the gym with the guys in the 4am crew, but you come on a Wednesday, yeah, right? Yeah. One, you got throw, to throw me into the fire. Yeah. On, one, you got under the band tension, which I respect. And I haven't been under bands in about three, four years. Yeah. And that was he only goes, single reds back in the day. Yeah, and goes, I don't know. I go, you've been under bands. He goes, I was under a single red like three years ago. I go, yeah, today's gonna be a little different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's on a three. The, the guys that come the first time on the four reds aside, I always feel fucking bad for this one you handled well, though. Yeah, at least Seal Lover was like, oh, at least you didn't come on the black days like yeah, last oh time. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> dude. But talk about um, seeing in person, mentality, strength you saw, kind of just, you know, kind of just being in the crew. I yeah. mean, just as a fly on the wall slash being in it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you definitely have to stay tight just on racking the bar with two bands and three bands. Then people jumping 45 pounds each time. It's like, let me get that 25 on there. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like <laughs> definitely not as strong to that aspect but there's no discouragement ever yeah you know, it's like do what you can you know and grind it but seeing some of that weight move so smooth and, and knowing that <laughs> i did 135 and locking locking it out was like a struggle you yeah. know on that and then seeing 405 on a couple of the guys just move Fucking. like there wasn't bands or anything on there it's just unreal well, yeah. <clears throat> and that's why i told him he was standing there watching you know cheering or whatever and i go I go, you know what 135 felt like. Yeah. You just watched Tyler and Zach move four plates like it was a fucking joke. What'd you finish at? Three plates? Three and a quarter? Uh, three. I think it was three, three plates. Three plates, yeah. Plates, yeah. Plates. And it's a 55 pound bar, too. Yeah. So, you yeah. Got, I mean, it's like you're watching guys move 500 plus pounds with ease. Attention. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sick. It definitely works. I got to find a way to set it up at home and yeah. get the band wave with single bands, then load up from there. But. Yeah, just the atmosphere alone and the energy. Because I was, I don't, I don't work out at 4 a.m. Yeah, I've been trying since winning the contest, knowing that I'd have to work out at 4 a.m. Trying to get up at 5, 5:15. I think it's good that you flowing. don't because it's showing people that they don't have yeah. to. Because yeah. everyone thinks they have to, and they don't. Yeah. they don't have to lunge right after the, they can lunge at a different time of the day. Like that's just how we do it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, just went to bed early, had a pretty good sleep, and then 2:55, 3 o'clock alarm, get a shower going in here and I was like I'm ready it's loose yeah, being yeah. off the energy walking back and forth <laughs> hamstrings are quite tight after all the curls and stuff and then knock out some abs and then hitting the lunges 
pretty yeah. awesome just knowing up there at Denison having how many people have gone on that track and oh, lunched well. and sweated and, you know a lot of just old a, women too yeah <laughs> we, we, <laughs> they, are they lunching I've had know. I've had 90 year old people like I I would like lunge past them for months and then all of a sudden I look over and one lady was holding on to the fucking to the fence trying to lunge, lunge. one day and I was like this is fucking awesome yes. <laughs> just trying it just, just trying, trying it. it just that's trying why it. I tell it like having coaches and different things come up to me on the track they're like oh you're crazy bro what are you doing this for and just mm. kind of like telling the story of max effort yeah Corey, and everybody that's training and how it works and anabolic fasting and the met the metabolic rate and i was like you don't have to do 800 yeah like you know for mm-hmm. 50 60 year old coach or whoever i was like start with 10 go yeah. from there see how you feel and then maybe do 50 yards and it's like great fucking it's gonna work like you're gonna be sore no matter what and that's the oh that's a fact and <laughs> i'll like get up in the morning pull up instagram see a lot of probably five or ten people that i follow that have already completed their lunges normally yep so i was like not a huge social media poster and i was like that's gonna hold me accountable posting yeah on my story <laughs> so i was like and i know oh, i messaged a couple of you guys like let me know if i'm like bothering you blowing you up tagging you every day <laughs> i was like i don't want to be a bother but it's gonna like no, it keeps you accountable, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, after the contest, I had two or three other buddies start lunging. So I got one buddy, uh, Cam Wilson, who's 113 days straight mm-hmm. at 800 Fuck now. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And like doesn't know anything about Max Effort, doesn't know anything about the program. Just sees yeah, yeah. me posting. He's like, I want to change my life and start doing these. Hell cardio. yeah! And then he started doing uh, 100 push-ups too. So kind of so like he's a getting city. there. Yeah. yeah. But he's like, I never thought I would get to 30 days. And yeah. then he hit, when he hit 100, I was like, sit back and think. You've done 50 miles of lunges. Like when you like yeah. try to map it out on like how yeah. many lunges have I done? Where could I drive back and forth? It's so much, bro. Yeah. That's pretty fucking But cool. just seeing like people in your area now that are starting to It's the unicorn shit we talked about, that. bro. Yeah. It's being that it's fucking – it's shining light for some other people, bro. Show them the way. But I just like to go to some random tracks and see somebody else – you know, yeah. maybe doing them or putting the work in and yeah, hell yeah, just like call it max effort out in the wild. Like somebody I don't know and just grow that brand and Appreciate the connection it, between mm-hmm. you know yeah. everybody. Yeah. And just well, I can say this for all of us, dude. You're going to be a great ambassador for this contest. Rep- represent the company. I mean, the fucking story of what you're doing. <laughs> you know, professionally, just like the mentality. Yeah. It's it's really cool having you on, dude. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. And here's to the next goals on the calendar Hell gotta yeah. get to a year's worth of lunges and try to do a sprint triathlon too if it works out on Just the calendar keep pushing yep. the limits bro Fuck yeah that's it um oh where can they find you at Travis? Uh, what's, your, what's your instagram instagram's tc01017 yeah if you guys need so, some accountability tag yeah. up travis get a moving any questions diet anything so you got it i'll answer it all right my dude uh roundtable podcast i'm your boy Corey g small arms danny at Trey Speed in the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susack, Travis Coxworth. I want to have his winner. We are out.